Hi folks, Chuck Borelli, Real Rehabber, uh, out on my walk here in, in uh, beautiful East Central Florida, uh, Burrard County. Not so sunny today, but you know, occasionally we have a, a gloomy day. Not very many, but once in a while we have one. We haven't any rain for a long time, so we need some anyway. Um, today I want to talk about uh, what's going on in the investment market um, in, uh, in single family homes and multifamily homes. Um, I know a lot of investors right now are holding back um, because they're waiting uh, for prices to drop because of the coronavirus issue and foreclosures. And I can tell you that I believe that if you're waiting, you're missing the ball. Because right now, there are lots of deals. Uh, we are getting lots of leads. Um, great prices bigger spreads um, because we have less competition and we're really enjoying that right now um, as far as foreclosures creating extra inventory uh, and you being able to get foreclosures uh, let's think back a few years and what happened with the foreclosures now maybe there will be a bunch of foreclosures uh, maybe the banks will figure out how to work things out with people uh, maybe we'll lose a lot of jobs permanently maybe we won't I don't know don't have a crystal ball for that uh, but I can I can tell you that foreclosures don't come on the market right away foreclosures take a long time here especially here in Florida uh, they can take years in other words people sit in their houses for years while they backlog cases or they hire an attorney and they fight the case if you hire an attorney in Florida um, a person can hold up a foreclosure for years um, and live in the house so don't expect the banks to have a whole bunch of houses for you to buy three months from now because that's not going to happen this is a short-term market change this is just, i think we're going to have a short recession um, we may have a slight drop in retail prices but uh, we're buying on such a great margin right now that uh, we can sustain those price drops and remember uh, the stock market dropped very fast very fell very quickly and people are in panic state right now uh, a lot of people are selling their houses in panic uh, people that were Mostly not people that are established and have had good jobs and plenty of people are still working. Um, and frankly, folks, we've only been shut down for uh, about six weeks. Um, those people um, are, are still stable. They're still making their mortgage payments or, they, or they've done some forbearances and they'll, and they'll get past this. But the, a lot of the people that were hanging on the edge are just kind of letting go of the cliff now and uh, letting their properties go. And it's, it's really a good time to help those people, um, to help them move on with their lives and whatever their situation is. Uh, we all get in bad situations from time to time. So we're there to help those folks, especially considering that the bigger companies like, uh, like Zillow and some others just pulled the rug out from everyone um, and pulled back all their offers. But remember this, like I said, the stock market dropped very quickly and people are able to dump stocks very quickly uh, real estate does not work that way um, when things started slipping in 06 uh, it took until 2012 to hit the bottom six years and there's a reason for that prices to drop in real estate in residential real estate you have to have comps you have to have sales so in other words somebody across the street from you has to sell their house at a lower price and then someone else sells their house at a lower price and this happens slowly over time but if you haven't had sales and six weeks is not enough time to have those sales if you haven't had sales you're not going to have changes in prices um, we also have a big housing shortage we still have a housing shortage and people have to have places to live so really that's why we're still in the game and i think that i think that uh, real estate investors that that are not buying now, that are not at least looking now, um, they're missing the ball. If you're anywhere in Florida, um, or if you're in East Central Florida, Brevard County, uh, hit us up, see what we can do to help you if you're having problems with your house, or your mortgage, or you're behind on your mortgage, or if you inherit a property, or you have any of those things going on in your life. Um, if you're interested in the business, please comment below or contact us for information. We've worked with uh, numerous private lenders and made them above average returns. Um, we're out there, we're moving, and uh, happy rehabbing.